At Ellis Brigham, we take product testing really seriously. It forms a crucial part of our range selection. And today, we're out here at the Ski Industries of Great Britain Ski Test in Kutai, Austria. This is the last part of our range selecting. It's where we're gonna decide exactly what skis and boots we stock in store. What I wanna do now is pass you over to the brands so they can tell you about the key features of this ski, who it's designed for, and what it's gonna do. Hi there, this is the Alain Ripstick 96 Black Edition. One of the best free ride skis you can get your hands on these days. And it's really at the light end of the free ride market. So if you're looking for a one ski quiver that'll do everything, this could be the one for you. I'll tell you a little bit about it. All of the Alain skis have amphibio profile, which means you get a full contact cambered inside edge and you get a rockered tip and tail on the outside edge. This means at slower speeds, it's really easy to turn and you get really smooth turn transitions but with the technology inside this ski with four carbon rods and a carbon layer really reinforcing the inside edge, you get lots and lots of edge grip on hard snow, on piste. It's a great ski to ski everywhere on the mountain and with no metal in it, it's light enough to do a little bit of touring if that's what you wanted to do. Give it a go, it's the Alain Ripstick 96 Black Edition. So we're out in Tien in France. This is the Ellis Brigham Ski Test and this is the final part of our testing programme. This is when we invite colleagues from all the shops to come out and join us, try the skis that we've ranged for next year, validating our choices, but also make sure that they've skied them, they know exactly what those skis do, and they can give you the right information when you come into the store. So here's what it's all about. So I've just got off skiing the Alain Ripstick Black Edition. So we had really good conditions to ski the ski on slope. It was quite firm underfoot, but not so icy. Um, softening up throughout the rest of the day. I took it on a good few runs top to bottom, took it off the sides a little bit too, and I'm not gonna lie, it's everything I expected from it. Maybe a little bit more as well. It depends on the kind of person you are as to whether you'll like it or not. For me, it was brilliant. Uh, so I've skied the regular Ripstick before, the Ripstick 96, and absolutely loved it. It's really easy to initiate the turns with it. Their little system with rocker on one side and camber on the other with the left and right skis. It's more than a gimmick, you do have to try it if you've not tried it before. But the black edition of this ski is just a little bit firmer. So it's a bit more for your slightly harder going free rider um, or sort of all mountain skier. Uh, so for myself, I like to skate quite hard. It was perfect. It was just that little bit more response coming out of the ski than the regular ripstick gave me. And for that reason, I thought it was absolutely brilliant. It's a great bit of tech and yeah, I would happily buy it. <laughs>